gave them the rock of Abishai. They hate church. They hate God. Forgive us, Lord, that when we receive the Holy Spirit, the church wanted to become the Spirit for the people in the world. But God, you said the Holy Spirit is for all of us and is left for all of us and will be in all of us. And all of us can receive. We can receive the Holy Spirit. The church has become manipulative. They make it look like they are the only ones who can be anointed. We are the only ones who can hear from the Holy Spirit. But Lord, even in the old days, you spoke to the prostitute when your children were almost killed. It not be a prostitute that saved them and hid them. And that prostitute asked your sons, Lord, said, if they are going to come and kill people here, can my family be spared? Now you, God of Abraham, out of your son's mouth, said, because you have helped us, you have saved us. But we were the mercy of God. We are also going to help you and save you. Lord, they did not sell that prostitute. They, my Bible tells me they saved that prostitute and that prostitute turned to you. These days in church, Lord, we are not allowing them to be transformed by the word and the spirit. We want to change them. And we have time. If somebody has been in church for one year, they look like they are not changing to us. No problem. I thought the measurement and the movement of change is determined by the Holy Spirit and the power and the will of God, not by man. A man can't change by himself. Even if he wants, he needs God to help him. So Lord, we are asking for mercy for all the church has done, for the rape that the church has done to women, to men, for the manipulation that the church has used to take things from the altar to bedroom. Because in this generation, there's even anointing of men sleeping with their fellow a, a, a sisters in Christ and calling it a, a movement of God. Lord, you never allowed anything like that. Your power does not move like that. So forgive us for mixing witchcraft, sexual immorality and seduction, lust, lies and wickedness, and calling it the doctrine of God. Forgive us that most of us who are standing at the altar are not even called. We went there on our own. And if you are not transformed from something, you cannot help other people to be transformed. You actually help them to be put back in that sea. Forgive us, Lord, that most of us who are standing at the old, even when we speak, people can't change because where we are coming from, our intentions and our foundation is not built upon your, your word or your truth, but our own motives, our own intentions, that we have killed the gospel. In the famous world and the world of famous people, when they see each other, it's like a dream come true. In the house of God, the Bible says, whosoever believes shall not perish. And whosoever believes is my brother or sister in Jesus Christ. We do not even treat each other like brother and sister in Christ. The commoners are commoners. Celebrities are celebrities. When in your kingdom, Lord, and in your presence is where everything is equal and is only focusing on one thing, truth, righteousness, and love. So we ask for forgiveness. We surrender all the politics, the finances, and everything that is happening in the world right now to you, Lord. We ask that you may intervene, Jesus, in every area and aspect of all our lives, in all the continents throughout the whole four corners of the earth. God of Abraham, we invite you to bring back order, to help us, Lord, to forgive one another, to love one another. Father, remove every hardness that has been put on us. Let our hearts and our souls and spirits be light. Let the light of God and double-edged sword penetrate and distinguish and set us free. Deliver us and heal us. Have your way in us. Take full total control. Help the church so they can help the politicians. Set everything right 
in the whole entire world. We need you. We need healing. We need deliverance. We need purification. We need forgiveness. And we need to forgive one another. And we need truth, Lord. We need you, Lord, to work and move in the people, especially that are making decisions that affect majority. We need you to move, God of heaven. We need you right now on the earth. We need revival, rejuvenation, purification and sanctification. We need it. For we are lost without it. We are nothing without it. Have mercy on us. We are your people. Direct us and deliver us from what we have will come in. Help us to be the people you have called us and created us to be. Help us to be the people you want us to be. We ask and pray for restoration in marriages, in homes, in finances, in health, in the mental state of mind. We ask and cry for help, Lord. Help your people, help us. Restore every broken home in marriage. Restore our finances that we are going to work and earn the right way and feed our homes. Not to focus on being millionaires. But according to what you provide and give unto us. Help us God. Deliver the politicians with all the things that are going on in the world Lord. Let there be new politicians born with fear of God. Politicians that are not going to look at Africa different from Asia, Asia different from Europe or America. Politicians who are fathers, Lord, who are mothers, who are going to love nations and their neighbors as they love their own children. Politicians who will stand up against injustice, corruption, discrimination, racism, and, 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 and injustice. We ask and cry for such, Lord. We ask for equalness in finances. Let all the continents acknowledge each other's finance and respect each other's currency. We ask for equality. Let every nation and continent be fair and loving with one another. That if those ones are welcome in Africa, even here in Europe, you're welcome. Fairness, Lord. For the color of blood is red. We ask, Lord, for politicians who are going to implement education and health, not just for their own nations. That politicians who are living in developed nations shall look around and see what they can do in Afghanistan, in Palestine, in Syria, in Africa. We ask God, Please, we ask, Lord, on behalf of the whole entire world, we ask. And most of all, we surrender this social media to you. Lord, the only person who can deliver us and have help us to have the right approach and way to live in society and have this social media benefit us the right way is you. From what the devil has used social media, Turn it around, Lord. Let social media not be a place of trauma, suicide, wickedness, hate, jealousy, envy, and fakeness. Let social media be used for your glory, Jesus. Lord, you say that when the devil decides to bring up an amount of wickedness poured upon your people. You will raise the standard in the realm of the spirit. Arise, God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Raise a standard. Raise a standard and let your glory come in. Lord, there's a lot of things that are going on. And only you can help. Only you alone. We need you. We need you, Lord. Please, Jesus, have mercy. Have mercy upon us, our Father. God, we bless you. 
we thank you for today. For your praises, your will, your purpose, and for allowing us to come before your praises. For that grace, our Lord, we say thank you. For listening to our prayers, our requests and petitions. We are thankful, Lord. And we do trust and believe that you hear us. God, we don't cry for these prayers, not just for our personal hopes, like our Lord, these prayers we are crying is for the whole entire world. God, we need you. We need you, Jesus, please. Please. Remember us and have mercy just for one more time. Do not turn your back against us. Do not take the Holy Spirit away from us. Wash us and cleanse us in the blood of Jesus Christ. Wash us with high soap and we shall be whiter than stone. 